Hey, my name is Scott, and I want to talk to you about how the one thing that you might be missing when trying to fix your injury or ailment or whatever is contact. Okay, so as a fitness facility who exclusively hires people who can also do manual therapy skills, we have a lot of conversations in and around injuries and rehabilitations, and we work with a lot of clients whose body isn't really just ready for the weight room and they need a little bit of time on the massage table uh, and they need to get stretched out or worked on or do tissue work or whatever they need to, to get ready. And one thing that I've found that a lot of people seem to be craving but not getting is the context for their injury. So let's say you got a sore shoulder or whatever it is. There's a whole landslide of options that can dictate the length of your rehabilitation that people quite often don't really know anything about. So the best case scenario for that injury is it's a soft tissue related problem. All soft tissue related issues, they just need some manual work or some stretching or whatever. There's nothing structurally wrong and they're usually fixable within six hours. That's the general rule of thumb, not always. Let's say you do six hours of treatment and it doesn't get better. Well, then we know that there's some sort of activation based problem or we know that you're doing something in your life to undo the treatment. So what do we gotta do? We gotta get you moving and we gotta, cause movement is the glue that holds the body together or often re-puts the body together. So the way we quantify that for clients is we usually say, will this rehabilitation be successful in 100 repetitions of rehabilitative work or 100,000 repetitions? So. At the base floor, we got our perfect body, then we got our one to six hours worth of treatment, and then we've got our 100 to 100,000 repetitions before this body's got the integrity that it needs in order to function the way it's supposed to. Let's say we work our way up this ladder and then it still doesn't start feeling better. Then we gotta start, somewhere along that ladder, we gotta start asking the question about bony abnormalities or uh, uh, arthritic, type situations, maybe a bone spur or osteoarthritis or something of that nature. Then we're looking at real structural problems. And if the bones are inflamed, they're usually inflamed for a reason. And unfortunately, bones take a lot longer to come back than soft tissue related problems do. So we don't want you to have any bony abnormalities. But let's say you do, then we're talking, we're going past our 100,000 repetitions and we're talking, you know, two, three, four years to rehabilitate someone. I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but unfortunately that's what it looks like. Sometimes you have to strategically maintain something for years and years before the inflammation of the bone starts going down. Anything beyond that, then you're at what I call the point of no return. And that's when we're talking about joint replacements or there's no cartilage left or somewhere where surgical inter intervention is a necessity. If you're hurting, if you're injured, Bring some context into your rehabilitation. There is predictable patterns to these things and not every injury needs to feel like you're an anomaly.